All right. Ooh, what's going on? Good lord. I'm ready. I don't know if I'm mentally ready. Huh? I'm excited. I might need to go get some water. You know, these, these damn voices. These trials are early. 10 a.m. Oh, let's go. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers for the third goddamn time. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the, def the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was in fact Studio 2. Today, I will call on people present in, Studio Two tra in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm. Very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. Good. We do not want him feeling confident or anything. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. I really hope I'm pronouncing her name right. I have a feeling I've been mispronouncing her name this entire time. Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. She's still smoking that pipe. Will the witness state her name and occupation? D. Vasquez, I'm a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes? I dislike needless banter. If you must... Huh? If you must... Pon pontificate... Do it when I'm not here. <clears throat> v very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick! I know she did it! Make her pay! R right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with pants down. So... This game's kind of sus a little bit sometimes. Day of the Moon. I entered the trailer. Oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at noon, sharp, and ended at four. And it was a long meeting. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later, when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Okay. 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 I have a question about one part of your testimony. Okay. You were fatigued, so you had Saul take you? The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio 2. What? Okay, no, okay, I was about to, like, I was about to call her out, but I realized that could have happened. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk with, what with that monkey's head toppling over. Manella used this van to drive Vasquez to Studio One after the meeting in the trailer. I... I see. Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it! Fucking call. I'm about to destroy you. I entered the trailer over a little before noon. Hold it! By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in, the, in you and you didn't stop in at the employee area. No. Are you always this terse? Yes. 
Oh dear God. The meeting began. Okay, the meeting began at twelve sharp, and it ended at four. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. G come on, let's talk a bit more about that. Oh my God. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. The same could be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth, oh god. And please stop banging on your little desk, it hurts my ears. <clears throat> there was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. And when exactly was that? I've forgotten. Maybe you could try remembering? No. The meeting ended at four. Okay. The meeting ended at four, and the rehearsal was scheduled for five. I would think it was between those times. You would think. Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. Seriously, that's all you do. I was fatigued, so I had Saul take me. Whoa. Hold on. You had Saul take you? What does that mean? Does it mean some dirty? It means what I just said. I had Saul take me in the Studio 2 van. Oh, alright. At 2.30 we took a... At 2.30 we took a 15 minute break in the meeting. And what were... Hold on, what's... Hold on, what's my evidence? And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wright. O oops. It was a 15 minute break. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. Hold it. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal. No, no I mean someone else. One person is enough. So who? If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had to, she wouldn't have had time to eat the T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak. Well, Nick, find anything? I kind of wish she'd said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said somewhere. I the trailer, oh, a little before noon. Okay, so he was talking about uh, the fact that she didn't eat the thing. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks. Hold on. Uh, after the meeting. Shit. Hold on. I'm confused, man. Hold on. F man, f we'll just present this. Okay. When the music turns off, you know you got it right. Ha! As I thought. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not. What's this now? Mr. Wright. Look at this. It's a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will. Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manila ate at a table outside the trailer. And there are no bones! How did I not realize that? When I investigated last video, after Mr. Manila said that he had T-bone steak, 
Or was he saying he ate it in the employee area? No, because that was just Jack Hammer and Will Powers. I'm tripping. If this was in the court record, I would have knew it. But, god damn, I'm... I'm man, I, I'm a little slow. Yet there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. We got her shook already, let's go! Miss Vasquez. Yeah, keep hitting your shit, let her know you mean business. Tell me. How can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? Throw it away, maybe? <laughs> you ate the bone, too? <laughs> you didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere. Like that incinerator. I... I see. Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Picking on Salmonella. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Order. Oh, are you saying? Yes, Your Honor. That's actually a cool shot right there. I wish you could make this text disappear. As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak. There we go. See, I, I got what I wanted. I'm just gonna have to screenshot that. She ran into the Steel Samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. Why is she shook like that? So she must have something up her sleeve. M Mr. Wright. Isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? Let him claim what he I knew it. As you say, I did it. You say I did it? Yes. Damn. Firmly? Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Bullet time battle? <laughs> Dang it, Rumpa. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Damn, she's not even testifying. This is just literally, like, head up arguments. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh, yes. The samurai spear. Yes? I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? I think you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Huh. You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning... The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. Oh boy. What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, your honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. <laughs> Uh... Huh? <laughs> Why not? Why not? A break in the shaft has been mended with duct tape. Is he gonna try and say, like, you can't stab someone if it's... broken? Oh, thank god, okay. I present my proof. The so-called murder weapon. But that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that this spear broke during the morning action scene run-through. But someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick 
costume with this through the chest, no less. All the rest. Oh, order. Order. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're... Silence. I'm the one testifying here, and I will be heard. Oof. Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what happened? What weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? Oh, I can tell you. I can for sure tell you, sir. I don't think that was the right answer. <laughs> Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the murder weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Very well. Let's see this murder weapon, then. <laughs> uh, shit. Is that it? I don't think that's it. God damn it, the music is there still. Look at this photo. Oh, maybe it was it. Hold on. Wh what is this? Why? Why? That's Jackhammer standing at the top of the stairs. Oh, shit. O order. Order. All of you, shut the hell up. If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a closed kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it? See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence posts See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? Wha- What? Are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? Uh, has happened again. That is... Wow. That is insane. Mr. Wright. Continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then, she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had himself, had himself done five years ago. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. Ooh, she's sweating, you see it. In other words, the, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Very creative, Mr. Wright. She's borderline Irish, Scottish, Australian, British. I can't get her accent down. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny that what I say is true? Mr. Wright, let's say for the sake of argument that Hammer died at the trailer as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One. They're making this too obvious now. They took him in the car. And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One, and I returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death? then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume, there wasn't enough time. Hmm. Indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, could she have dealt with the body? Uh, yeah. Wait, uh, hold on. 
She couldn't deal with it. I bet she could move it. She had another way. Hell yeah. What if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands? For instance... Actually, for that matter, there was not no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. I I interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. Uh huh. Take that. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One. And you used the studio van to do it. I knew it. She got too confident. I caught her. Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sol take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sol drive me. Whoa. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the evil magistrate costume. How so? Hold on, right? Don't forget, it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a co- was a conspirator? Ooh. Um. Of course he was! He knew what he was doing! Of course, Salmonella has has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. I figured this out. Like, what, two videos ago? I don't know if I said it out loud. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. Hmph. I lose. You win. It was fun. I... win? Yeah, this is... this is not over. Yeah, this is not over. Hold up, hold up. Um, so... What happens next? Don't... Question mark me, bitch. Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I... Lost? Something like that? I just said that. No, you said I won. Wait, so you mean... D. Vasquez, so was it you? You killed Jack Hammer. Oh my god, why is she being so difficult? Who can... Oh my god. I knew it wasn't over. I looked at how long I've been recording. It's not over. Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did it? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle? You proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. R right? But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. W what? Order. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts. Um, uh... uh of, of course, it's as the witness says. Certainly. It does not seem very likely she did it. But, uh, there's no proof. Oh, he stuttered. There is proof. Let's go. We'll find it. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving. Uh, shit, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Yeah, testify again. Hello. I... 
I'd like you to testify again. Testify. Again? Know when to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh... You'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn. Damn! To come so far, only to fail. As it seems there are no further questions, I would like to end the cross-examination of witness Miss Vasquez. Objection! Ooh! Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. <laughs> I- oh f come on, you- I got the hype- ooh, for you! Just don't let me down, man, come on! You peaked real quick! You're back where you were. I see. Very well. OBJECTION! <laughs> oh, <kid. laughs> Your Honor, I request that the witness testify. <laughs> what is going on here? This is wild. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I... I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, your honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly do you want her to testify about? Mm, well, yes, um... Indeed. Verily, I say, ergo... I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. Let's go! Edgeworth is like, you peaked again and you're rising a little bit. After they found the body. Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Hmm. Nick. Why did Edgeworth- Who knows. He probably realized that she did it too. But- But- Wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that. Edgeworth. Edgeworth likes swallowing the pride. Hopefully. Could be too early to call it. I was with Sal and Old Bag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant with was there too. Only Powers was absent. Okay, so that's Old Bag on the left and that's Sal on the right. He got a script in his back pocket. Is Joe was that episode 13? I immediately called hold on, did I miss fuck, I think I missed that last one. I immediately called to the police, and then Powers showed up. The security lady, Old Bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers and saying, He did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Hmm. I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick. We're close. Real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. Let's go! I was with Saul and Old Bag, the security lady, when we found the body. What time was that? We were to meet at 5 for the rehearsal, so I'd say it was then. When exactly did you and Mr. Manella arrive at the studio? About 10 minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes, mind you. Hmm. Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well? 
then you could have put Hammer in that costume with Salmonella's help. Oh. What did I just say? Did I not just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies into any costumes? Just... You should try to listen to what people are saying, boy. Excuse me? But boy The witness will continue her testimony. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was absent. Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? A long nap at that. So he says. Did no one go to call him? Remember? Remember what? The 5th of November? There was a dead body lying in front of us, yet you expect me to be calm. You s You certainly seemed calm enough when I accused you of murder. Right, yeah, she seems, like, well... Well sorted out, smoking that pipe, 24-7. Your nerves are calm. Press her harder. Yeah, come on. Wait a second. Wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around. You discovered a murdered body and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? Hmm. I have to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez? Hmm. Logically speaking, perhaps. But no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, without his steel samurai costume, Powers doesn't really stand out. We often left him on the bus when shooting at location. No one noticed he was missing. Poor Powers, right. Dude, I feel so bad for Will Powers. He seems like he's sad all the time, sniffing at the end of every sentence. Like, trying to just make the kids happy with the Steel Samurai. I feel it. Hmm. Well, I suppose that explains that. Very well, Miss Vasquez. You may continue. Damn. That was just one... One, like, prompt, too. What was everyone else doing at the time? No one said a thing. It was silent. Completely silent. So we stood there until Powers finally arrived on the scene. Sorry. S sorry I'm late. Then... Silence. Dead silence. Silence. <laughs> hey! Hey, Nick! Why is everyone so quiet? Someone should do something to lighten things up! <laughs> Security lady Oldbag was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. Just because... She saw him pass by. Right, 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 right. Old bag. The security lady. Why did the security lady think Powers had done it? She said because she saw him going toward the studio. Right. The Steel Samurai. Damn, I'm really, like, digging deep. Did the detective arrest Mr. Powers based solely on the security lady's word? Perhaps not. She seems to have also given the detective that photograph. Of course, I heard all this after the fact. That photograph, meaning the one taken by the security camera. She's not known for exhibiting the best sense of judgment when it comes to Hammer. Hmm. I don't think there's anything in there I can use. We... We found out that... Dude in the photo, dressed as the Steel Samurai, was Jack Hammer. Is that not, like, legitimate proof, or...? I asked to be left out of the proceedings. Why was that? Hello? You asked to be left out? Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned. And I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. Uh-huh. But you can't just dis <laughs> But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that since we were in a meeting, 
there was no way he could have been involved. Thus, they covered for us. Covered for you. Or covered it up for you. There must have been a lot of writing on it, with all those bigwigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone that they didn't require questioning. The Mafia. Holy shit. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. The script and your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't... It wouldn't... It wouldn't do to have them stolen. Okay. Oh, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well... I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder after- You wouldn't- You're not- mm -hmm. How did you know he was there? Hmm? Hello? Who could think of rehearsing after that? Well, yeah, I guess. Uh, does no one realize that she wouldn't have known Jack Hammer's body was there unless she put him there and then went back? If she's saying that was her first time seeing Jack Hammer at Studio One, then she would have. Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please continue. Objection! See, that's what I'm talking about. Edgeworth coming in clutch. I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Think. Miss Vasquez says she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. I don't know his voice anymore. Don't you see what that means? She would have known. She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Me and Edgeworth are right there now. Thank you. <laughs> She's like, oh. Order. Order. Mr. Edgeworth. What you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? He's swallowing his pride. He, he, justice is at the forefront of his mind right now. I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? Oh! I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Hmm. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be a no rehearsal. Hmm? Very well. The witness will change- I'm so sick of that. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. J j huh? No! No, 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 no! No! What are you talk- What? How did you know about the injury? And ha Hammer wasn't even the one injured, it was Powers. How did I know? Sal. He told me. Sal the director. Hmm. You have to find something to peg this on her. On her here. Or everything we've done till now will have been wasted. I believe in you, Nick. Go get him. Oh. I was with Sal and Oldbag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police and power showed up. The security lady old bag when I was he did it. I used to be outside of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes. Hammer wasn't even injured. Like Where is that? Let's go! You 
knew that Hammer was injured. Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. Wh what? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo, but that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. P pretending One person was injured in the run-through that morning. The person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? Uh... I... I already said it was Sal who told me. That... that's right. He must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run-through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez? Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but wasn't it Mr. Powers here? Yeah. I feel like I got it wrong. Hold on, he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah! Oh. And when he was doing this... Well, it would have to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume. And went to Studio 2, where he was murdered. I thought I got it wrong. <laughs> Hold on. Just because, like, the way Phoenix, like, acted when I chose the option, he was like, uh... Alright. I got it right. Yay. Exactly. Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in that Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Uh. Uh. Order, order. I will have order. Witness. Can you refute this claim? <sighs> yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Why are the real killers always so persistent, bruh? Not Mr. White, though. He, he went down fast. As soon as Mia started reading off that list, he was like, Okay, okay. Why in the world would, would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Hmm. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there is a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Fuuuuck. Hold on, hold on, hold on. An accident involving jackhammer. Bro. Okay, I had a real quick thought just a second ago. Did Jack Hammer kill himself? No, he wouldn't have. Because, like, there would be no reason for this. They wouldn't have, you know, moved his body or whatever. For some reason, I thought he killed himself. Why he would dress up as the Steel Samurai, though, and pretend to be Will Powers, I don't know. Okay, you prove she had a motive. Let me just say I can prove it. Okay, I have proof, and I'll show it to you. I present to the court evidence as to Miss Vasquez's motive in this murder. Let's just say the photo. It's not the photo. This is my proof. This is... The photo from before? 
This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? <laughs> Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial... Her trial. It began on that day, five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident precipitated... Pre yeah, I said that right. Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Hmm. Bringing us to the present day, and Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. We are double teaming her right now, damn! Yes, undoubtedly it was a constant source of shame for the X-Star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... Bro... Bro, was I right? What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Y yes that's right. According to what you say, I would have had no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. <laughs> <coughs> Mr. Wright, please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. Oh. No way, actually. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. What? What? Your Honor. Look at him saying, hey, I'm about to go kill the producer real quick. I'll be back. Will Powers is like, all right, bro. Be back soon. I'm going to finish up my steak. Holy shit. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the steel samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then, Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. Oh, she broke it! So, you did do it, didn't you? Yeah. Wow! I am guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance! The there's blood everywhere! We're too late! Ah! Miss Vasquez! What? What happened here? Man Manuel Manuel fell from the trailer stairs. Oh it's oh oh it's five years ago one. Okay, okay, okay. Manuel Manuel Miss Vasquez, please try to remain calm. No, no, how could this It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene. No, Manuel Manuel! D don't touch him, Miss Vasquez. No! Please. Please don't die. Please. Wow. Wow. Can 
Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose. Again. This courtroom is like, holy shit! <laughs> wow! This game is nuts! I thought this game was gonna be, like, fun in games. That first trial was kinda like... I mean, they showed blood and everything. I thought this was a kid's game, bruh! Mr. Edgeworth, where's D. Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. It appears you have brought yet another miracle. I thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes. Yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Not guilty. That's looking there all like, yes, thanks. That is all. This court is adjourned. That was a crazy episode. My god. Alright, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. He's happy now, let's go! I... I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes. Oh, and I was all worried again. But... It's sad. I know that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez. But to think that he tried to frame me for the murder... It makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Uh, huh? Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Do I have evidence? Hold on. Why is it giving me the option to show evidence? I don't have evidence. Do I? Uh, I'm confused. Hold on. <laughs> Um, hello. Hello. I think I'm, I'm just drawing a blank right here. I mean, if it's giving me the option to show evidence, shit, might as well. Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... <clears throat> Sorry, what does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? Or, yeah, what does that mean, Maya? Um, Nick, you know that problem of yours? That problem where you present evidence that makes no sense? You're doing it again. Oh. See, it... I knew there wasn't evidence, but it gave me the option, so I assumed there was. Congratulations, WP. Oh. Oh, <laughs> thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and... Oh yeah, you gotta break the news. You gotta break the news, man. Is... something wrong? N no uh, of course not! Ah! N Nick! Edgeworth! What's going on, Dante? Old friend. Say something right. I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um... That was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No. I really want to thank you. Give me the music. Let's go. Vasquez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Ah, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't, that wasn't loud enough. Hold on. <coughs> Ow. Ah, uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Ooh, okay. 
I bet he is. Come on, I, he's not lying. Right. I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all of these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I'm saddled with unnecessary feelings. Unnecessary feelings? Yes, unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. He immediately went back down to where he was. Either that or he's just putting on a face. Um, Mr. Wright, was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if. They're rivals. Rivals. Right, Nick? For now we are. I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick, tell me. What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? If this dude says we're brothers... Gosh. They could be brothers, that'd be sick. And so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kid shows again. No. Nick! This is it! The new show starts today! You're going to watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that assistant. Cody, the homie Cody. And uh, uh, Penny, I think it was her name. Fine, fine, we'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real Will Powers. The end! Ugh. Edgeworth. Is that his dad? Look, he's got that little, uh, uh, thing in front. You know? Who the hell is that? Is that homeless man with a parrot and... That dude has a... Is that a camera? I can't see through that. Oh my gosh, bro. Yes, I want to save. Gosh, I'm so excited. This game is so good. Like, I've heard of this game, like, here and there, and I know who Phoenix Wright is, he's just an attorney. I had no idea how gameplay worked in this game, I had no idea if it was serious, if it was funny, if it was a kid's game, whatever. But, I think on, like, Twitter or PlayStation's YouTube ch page, um, posted the trailer for the remaster or collection or whatever, and I was like, and this, again, this was after I played the Danganronpa series, and I was like, you know what? I, I, I got that crave for, you know, courtroom-type action. So let me let me try out some Ace Attorney, see what it's about. And this game does not disappoint, dude. Um, God, this, ugh, I'm having fun playing this game. I'm also playing Infamous Second Son and Uncharted Lost Legacy, and I'm streaming uh days gone and a few other games here and there over at twitch.tv forward slash gamecuber so if you like the video or you want to see any of that stuff please consider subscribing to the channel i really enjoy doing this youtube thing uh if you watch the whole video to get here consider leaving a thumbs up down comment share whatever you want to if you want to and thank you for watching